Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now in today's video it is going to be a selection of highlight clips from the past three days and I have tons and tons of trophies to show you guys and we're going to get straight into it starting off here with a legendary jackal that I came across while hunting lions. Now this was literally the first group of animals I spotted on the server and this legendary was the second jackal that you saw me spot. So this was a really really cool find. You do not see a lot of legendary side striped jackal so when I came across this guy it was really exciting. I have been checking this spot a lot when hunting lions as I go to a spot that means basically I go past this lake and there's always jackals drinking here as well as normally a lion or two and I have this is where I shot those two melanistic jackals in the same pack it was at this lake and you can see this guy did make diamond at 29.40 when 29.10 is diamond so not quite as big as the last diamond jackal I shot which was a max weight but it is a diamond jackal nonetheless which is really really awesome like I said you do not see a lot of these guys so you can just never turn down an opportunity to find one it's always really really exciting to see that nine legendary pop up and even though he wasn't exactly the rare lion i was looking for i'm definitely not going to complain at another diamond jackal for the lodge now sticking with Rahonga Savannah multiplayers, it was Cape Buffalo drink time in this server and so I came to one of my favourite Cape Buffalo spots and the very first animal I spotted down here was a grey fur type small horns 9 legendary Cape Buffalo. Now you will have seen I spooked him out of some of the thicker vegetation and unfortunately he never really came back into a place where I could get a get a shot on him so I ended up chasing him for a little way and he ended up going up this slight incline which meant that I could actually see him from down on the road and alert him and wait for him to get into a position where I was comfortable to take a shot on him. Now I'm pretty confident that this guy was going to make diamond of course with the smaller horns they can troll I have had my fair share of troll cape buffalo but this guy just looked like he would be a diamond to me sometimes you just get that feeling and he just looked like he was big enough now I could have gone for a heart shot here however I just didn't want to risk anything with the 300 being as weird as it is right now so I waited for him to give me that broadside opportunity that I was comfortable with and did manage to get a single long shot on him and I was really really glad when I saw his health going down because as I said the 300 has been having some penetration issues and I really didn't want to end up having to track this guy even further and he did actually just make diamond at 152.70 so not a not a lot over diamond but I was pleased to actually get him as a diamond it's nice to get something other than the black fur type and you can see that 151.30 is diamond so he is only just over but definitely a diamond which is really really nice to see I have had a couple of trolls recently so it was nice to actually get another diamond down unfortunately not big horns and not a brown but it is another diamond for the trophy lodge. Now here you'll see me scanning over some Gemsbok trying to get some spots on some of them and I was waiting to actually spot this individual that was in the middle of this huge group and when I spotted it it was a level 5 female. Now level 5 female Gemsbok are very very rare. You almost never see these guys. In fact, until just before I shot my first one of these, I didn't even know they existed. They're that uncommon to find. And the first one I shot was a max weight and max score, which these guys do tend to be fairly often from everything I've seen with the level 5 females. The level 5 males will troll so, so much, but the level 5 females are guaranteed to be huge. And you can see the estimate on this girl. She is just massive and the fact that there's a really really big level four in the same herd just makes it so awesome I was almost like thinking is it two level fives but I knew that th I just knew that this one looked massive and you can see she lies down but she does give me a very nice shot there so I take her while she's actually led down which is a shot I don't go for a whole lot and you can see with the 300 she's really not going to go hardly anywhere before she actually falls over in the brush now we're going to go and pick her up first as she is the priority animal and then we'll see about getting the level four that was in the same group but let's pick her up and see what she actually scores she is a max weight and max core diamond female gemsbok this is as big as they get they score diamond at 337.50 and she's a 358 this is an 
absolutely monstrous Diamond Gemsbok. They do not get any bigger than this for females. This is the absolute max. So this is a really, really awesome animal to actually get. The second level 5 female I've ever shot, and it's the second max weight and max score, which is just awesome. I'm so, so lucky to have had that work out the way that it has. So let's now go and take out that level 4 that we saw in the same group. She did flee out over a little bit of a hill, but they really weren't that hard to track. I just followed all of the herd tracks and I've managed to find her pretty easily. And you can see that this one has a really, really good chance of making diamond uh, with the minimum there on the score estimate being 336. So when they make diamond at 337.50, she's got a massively good chance at actually making diamond and she definitely had the right horns so I was pretty confident that this one would also make diamond which just adds to the cool factor having two diamonds in the same herd and one of them being a level five but you can see she is actually the grey fur type and she is a diamond at 339.80 so nowhere near as big as that that uh, level five female but this is typically the the diamond that you will see for Gemsbok is these level 4 females. These are the ones that tend to make diamond quite a lot. So that was really awesome. I then got host of the server, so I decided to come and look for some rare lions. And the very first lake that I go to for lions had this at it. Now, I have shot plenty of female lions, and this one did look to be special. And as I got the scope on her there, I was 99.9% .9 convinced I knew what I was looking at, and uh, my suspicions were that this was a dark brown female. Now, until I'd actually seen a dark brown female in the flesh, I didn't really know what I was looking for, but seeing as I have that one in the lodge that, again, I got from multiplayer not all that long ago, I have been able to look at it sort of in close detail and know exactly what I'm looking for, and this was just exactly that. You can really see the difference between the head and the body on this, which I will try and show you guys a little bit more on the harvest screen, but that's what kind of initially tipped me off to the fact that I thought that this was a dark brown female. Now as I ran up to it I was a little bit less sure but as I actually looked at the the shoulders and going down onto the hip I was really confident and picking up it is a dark brown. So hopefully you guys can can see kind of what I'm talking about. They have a darker body and then a lighter looking head and you can sort of see where that colour distinction is right at the base of the neck. So if you're looking to see if, if a lioness is a dark brown female try and look for that because that's one of the things that, that I have found has helped me to identify these dark brown females. And this is really awesome. Rare lions are rare lions. You don't get a lot of them. So I was really happy to find this. Again, not the albino male I'm looking for and hoping for, but I can never turn down a rare lion. Now, moving from Frahonga Savannah onto a Te Awawara multiplayer server. And once again, we are looking at a level 5 seeker. I'm still out here looking for an albino. That is my biggest thing that I would really like to find. However, this is a level 5, and not only is he a level 5, but he actually has the big rack, and a pretty impressive score estimate of up to 230. So I'm not disappointed at all in finding this. I love the Diamond Seeker with the big racks. I think they look awesome. I just love this rack on them. I think it just looks really, really good on their model. And he is actually my biggest diamond at 218.50. Now, he's only a little tiny bit under max weight, but my max weight that I actually have in the lodge is not as big as this guy. This is my personal best, which is really, really awesome. And 218.50 is a really big diamond seeker. And you can see double lung and heart shot, which is about what I was going for there. So really can't complain. But when they make diamond at 198.70... That is a huge diamond at 218.50. That is just absolutely huge. And I'm really, really pleased to have a new personal best to go in the lodge. Now, you may have noticed in the previous clip, I only had two bullets left in my M1. Well, one of them went on that Seeker and the other bullet is going to go on this, a level five wildebeest that I came across while looking for an albino. That again is another albino animal I really want. So I have been looking through all the herds of wildebeest I possibly can in multiplayer, 
But instead of finding an albino, I found this guy. Now, he is only a small horns level 5, so nothing too impressive, but a diamond is a diamond, and when they're a level 5, I really can't resist shooting them. He is a 38.50 when 37.60 is diamond, so not tiny, tiny, just not the big horns. But that is another diamond wildebeest for one of the backup lodges. Now, hopping back into a Tay Awawara multiplayer server, and I came to one of my favourite spots to look for albino and diamond chamois. I'm still hoping to find an albino, that's another albino animal on my list of animals I really want. And you can probably see that I already kind of knew where that animal was, this level 5 chamois. Well, that is because I came up here, spotted this guy, and actually took a shot at him. The shot missed, it must have hit a piece of brush or something that I couldn't see in the shadows, and he was running off when my game crashed. So I had to quickly get back into multiplayer, run back up to this spot, and he was actually back in the same place, calm, which I was really thankful for. Now I'm going to admit that I really screwed up here, because I... Because I'd crashed, I took a shot that I really shouldn't have taken, and I rushed it. And that's something I should, you know, you should never do. Don't rush your shots. But because I'd crashed, I rushed it. And that shot was a bad shot. It just, through and through, was a bad shot. I've done it so many times, I know exactly what happened, is that I'd hit the shoulder blade and failed to get any penetration with the 243. I've done it before on non-diamond diamond chamois, so I knew exactly what had happened. But I got really lucky in the fact that he actually fled towards me, and then just walked nervously along the shore of this little, little lake. And that meant I could get a really nice, solid second shot into him, really close range, and he went down really fast. Now, I noticed that he was a different fur type to my other diamonds, of course excluding the leucistic diamond, but he is a honeytones diamond chamois, which is something that I have semi-consciously wanted ever since I, f I first heard of the, the fur type called honeytones. Just because I love the name of that fur type, something about the name honeytones just sounds so lovely. And when I first heard of the fur type when um, people were playing the beta, I thought how cool it would be to get a diamond honeytones. So most of my um, diamonds are the darker brown colour. So this is a really nice contrast to that. And you can see I did exactly what I thought I'd done and just shot far too far forward and hit that shoulder blade there, unfortunately. But that second shot got double hung and liver, which is why he went down so quickly. So I'm really fortunate there that I got that second shot. We all make mistakes. It happens from time to time. I was panicking about crashing. That's what made me mess that first shot up. But thankfully, I got my redemption on that second shot. Now, I've been spending a lot of time on Quattro Kalinas, as you guys could probably tell from my last video, mainly looking for melanistic red deer and rare wild boar. And once again, at one of my favourite red deer lakes, I spotted a 9 legendary. Now, this is not the first time I've had a 9 legendary at this lake. In fact, I did shoot a 9 legendary red deer here with the bow, but unfortunately, my recording software didn't actually record it, which was really annoying. But it was really cool to see another diamond red deer at this lake. There's no mistaking that that is a diamond red deer with that rack. I don't, I've never had one with a rack that looks like this ever not be a diamond, so I knew exactly what I was looking at, which is really, really awesome. And with the M1, managed to take him down nice and quickly and once again another big rack diamond red deer at 264 from Quattro Kalinas. I am having so much luck with finding the legendary red deer on Quattro, it is insane and I'm never going to be disappointed at getting one of these guys. So they make diamond at 251 and he is a 264 so he is a really really good sized diamond and 239.55 kilos so only just under max weight he is a really 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 nice sized diamond so another one that's going to be going into the main trophy lodge now once again on a Te Awawara multiplayer server I was in my favourite spot for fallow deer and this is why I find so many level 5 fallow deer and rare fallow deer at this particular lake and if you want to know where this lake is it's on the right hand side of the map above the river and it's two lakes that are surrounded by like a lot of brown earth on the map and if you go to there and go to those two lakes within that sort of brown patch 
they are amazing for Fallow Deer. It is just an absolute hot spot. And you can see, managed to drop this guy, no problems at all there, with the M1. And he is a really nice size looking animal. There was no doubt in my mind he would make diamond. And he did at 265.30. So again, a good size diamond. But he's not my biggest, but it's a really nice one to actually find. I'm always happy to find a diamond fallow deer. They look awesome. And this is going to lead really nicely into the next clip, which is also of a fallow deer, but is a little bit more special to me. So we are changing maps, we are here on a Hirschfelden multiplayer server and we are amongst the wind turbines and I spotted this guy. That is another level 5 fallow deer, again with a rack that I had no doubt in my mind would make diamond. Now I remember my first ever level 5 fallow deer back when I first started playing Call of the Wild was actually in this spot amongst the wind turbines and it was actually back when they had legacy racks, it was that long ago that I shot it. But this guy just would not go alert. So I am I got the 22 out and managed to pop a shot just enough to get him alert. I didn't want to shoot right next to him because I thought that might spook him. But I could see him here in the bushes. But I couldn't get a spotting owl hind. And I took a blind shot and noticed that he dropped immediately. Which kind of had me worried until I walked over and saw the vital blood. Now he is the lighter, co lighter colour common coat for the fallow deer. Which looks so good against the Hirschfeld and backdrop. That is a stunning animal. 264.70. So a little bit smaller than the previous one. However, this one kind of had a bit of a special place in my heart. Just because it brought me back to that first diamond fallow I ever found being amongst those wind turbines. That was a really, really cool experience. Now, once again, I was out looking for a melanistic mountain goat and I was scanning around and I noticed something stood over in the distance and it was a level five mule deer. But not just any level five mule deer, it's another level five with the twisted rack, which these guys seem to always score really, really high. So this got me really excited. I know, again, I said it in the, the last video where I shot one of these, that a lot of people hate this rack that is called the ugly rack by a lot of people. But I'm always excited to find it because one, it scores high and two, it looks weird, which I love look weird looking antlers. I think it's cool. So I'm always excited to see these guys. And unfortunately, I could never get into a position where I was comfortable to take a shot on that guy at that particular lake. So I ended up chasing him up here into this little bit of a valley where he was nervous and I had to actually get him to stop with the 22. I really didn't think that I would have to. I thought he would go alert just for me running around as most of these bigger animals tend to do, but he just didn't. And he was about to disappear off into this brush. So I had to act really quickly and I saw him go to alarmed and I was thinking, oh no, please don't flee off again and get lost up in this vegetation. But I did actually manage to get a vital organ hit on him there just before I, I think that he probably would have either noticed me or moved and not given me that shot. So I was really lucky and I wasn't sure if I'd actually clipped the vitals there for a second when I saw the bleed rate for some reason. But you can see he is dead and there was vital blood and he is a 341.20 scoring diamond mule deer. Now he is a tiny tiny little bit under max weight which I've had two of these guys with this rack be max weight so not really a problem and he is slightly smaller than the previous one. But they make diamond at 314.80 so this is still a monster and one that will be going in the main trophy lodge. Now you're going to see on the screen there I have the track of a leucistic female cape buffalo. And I actually saw this animal before I picked up its track, but completely didn't realise what it was. I actually thought it was a Gemsbok as I saw the white going through the trees, as sometimes in the area where I initially spotted it, there is some Gemsbok, and I just assumed that that's probably what it was. However, I did check the tracks just to be sure, and it did end up being this leucistic female Cape Buffalo. Now, I tracked her for a long, long way before she would actually stop and give me a shot. And please forgive me for the chat in the bottom corner. They thought that someone in this server was modding, and unfortunately it was just lag issues that they were having. So that's what's going on in that, in that little conversation down there. But she did go alert right here whilst I was being attacked by another female. And you can see I just managed to get that shot off. And we can see her health dropping in the top, top right corner there as this brown female kills me. 
I had to run over a kilometer back from the nearest outpost to where I'd actually shot this female. And it was a very tense run because I did not want to crash or get kicked seeing as there was weird things happening in chat. I really did not want anything to go wrong. So I was very relieved to actually finally pick her up and have a leucistic female Cape Buffalo. Now that shot, I don't know how it got enough penetration, honestly. I have had shots that have been a lot better technically than that not penetrate when they have been fully broadside so i'm really lucky that i even managed to get a shot on this thing before i ended up dying to another one but this now means i have a leucistic female and an albino female in the trophy lodge which is really nice but hopefully eventually i'll get to replace them with males but for now i'm really happy finding rare cape buffalo is always really cool now heading back over to Quattro Kalinas, it was night time in this particular server that I joined and I spotted a level 9 Iberian wolf that was drinking at this lake. I was actually here to look for wolves and for wild boar as I have found a number of wild boar drinking at this lake in various different multiplayer servers. But finding a level 9 Iberian wolf was definitely not exactly what I expected, but it was definitely very, very welcome. This was only like the second or third lake I checked in this session, and it had no need zones at it, and of course, where there's no need zones, there's animals waiting to be found, and this legendary was just here, perfectly broadside drinking. Now, you can see there I managed to get a really nice hit on him, and he really didn't go very far before falling over. However, the rest of the pack went aggressive and then just kind of stood there, and then they did exactly what I expected them to do, which was start fleeing, because I'd obviously killed the, the biggest one, and it does seem to be a thing that if you kill the biggest one, they do seem to flee. There was a tiny bit of lag there before I actually got to pick this guy up, but he is a diamond 39.90 scoring diamond Iberian wolf, and just, again, a tiny little bit under max weight. So that is another really good diamond, and he'll actually be replacing the Iberian I shot not even that long ago in a video, um, which was actually smaller than this guy. So he is an improvement for the main trophy lodge, which is awesome. He is just a common fur. I would like to get a grey or a winter or a pristine diamond one day, but those maybe will come sometime down the line. Maybe they never happen. But again, a really big diamond, so cannot complain at that at all. I'm really pleased. So you'll see me here spotting a group of pronghorn that were feeding amongst the trees. And I thought I could see a particularly big individual in this group. And it was a level 5. Now I had hosted this server and I was actually heading to a lake I wanted to check for plains bison. I'm still hoping to try and find an albino plains bison but they elude me still. And I just spotted this group by complete chance and then noticed this really wonky and huge looking level 5. Managed to get him there finally with a vital shot after some moving around like in and amongst the trees trying to get a good shot on him. But I could see that he had one horn a lot bigger than the other. So I was really curious to see what this guy would look like in the harvest screen. And he is a diamond and not only is he a diamond, he's a max weight diamond pronghorn. And at this point he was my biggest diamond pronghorn at 102.80. That is a really big diamond pronghorn. They make diamond at 98. So yeah, a good size pronghorn. But just look at how uneven and twisted his horns are. He's a very, very unusual looking level 5. And I'm really glad that this guy made diamond because I really wanted this in my trophy lodge as soon as I saw it because of how weird he looks. And I will take a look at the true score in just a second so that you guys can see how weird and mismatched his horns actually are. He basically has like two different, like I guess, true rack styles. But yeah, a really cool looking diamond. And on the same server, I picked up a max weight piebald mule deer track. So I was running around in the same area, trying to see if I could actually find it. And I saw this other group of pronghorn on a road literally only a few hundred metres away. And there was another level 5. And the rest of the server had been dead. I checked it for mountain goats. There was nothing like above a level 3 or a small level 4. There was just nothing good. And then I come to this one spot and there was just everything interesting that I'd found in the entire server. So again, managed to put a solid shot into this guy and he ran off into the brush, really not very far, and collapsed. 
and you'll actually see the rest of the group going past me there. But this guy looked a lot more even, and I was kind of thinking that this would be a little bit higher scoring because he was even, because I've seen a lot of these, these even ones score really well, and the belly gave a nice background, but he is another max weight diamond pronghorn. And he is 103.90 scoring. So this is now my biggest time in Pronghorn. This is one of the craziest things that has happened to me in multiplayer for a long time. Like, getting double diamonds happens. Getting two in the same herd sometimes even happens, as we've seen on, like, Flinter Stream and, you know, instances where I've had a rare and a diamond in the same herd. But to get two max weights in, in two separate herds that were very, very close to each other... I don't know what kind of spawn chance that has to happen, but it has to be quite rare. And they're just a really good looking diamond pronghorn. So I was extremely happy with that. And as I mentioned, there was nothing good in the entire server except for those. And the piebald mule deer ended up being a level four that had no chance of being anything good. So these two guys were the only two good things I had found in that server and I found them by complete chance. Now, once again, on another Silver Ridge Peak server, I was up here looking for a Melanistic Mountain Goat when I noticed this particularly glowing one here. Only a little female, but she did look to be glowing in exactly the same manner as my first albino Mountain Goat that I shot only not that long ago. And when I walked over, I could see the pink nose and the pink hooves, definitely. It wasn't a trick of the light or me just misseeing something, but it was definitely an albino female. Which is crazy to find two albinos, and now, as I mentioned, I have a male and a female, before finding a melanistic, which is going to stand out an awful lot more than an albino, just by the nature of the fact that mountain goats are already a white animal. So spotting an albino amongst them can be a little bit tricky, and I guess it's something that now I know what I'm looking for, I can spot it a little bit easier. But again, this is a very, very rare animal. You don't see a lot of these guys. So no melanistic, but another albino for the lodge. So really cannot complain at that at all. And finally, speaking of albinos, I'm extremely happy to get for the lodge. This is also something I was looking for, another albino animal that I specifically really wanted for the lodge. So from an albino mountain goat to an albino grizzly bear. I have been looking low, just everywhere, low and high for an albino grizzly bear. It, I've only ever shot one and that was on my Xbox account and I'd never seen another one. So I really, really wanted to get one for this PC account. And this is only a level one female, but I couldn't care less. I am so thrilled to finally lay my eyes on an albino grizzly bear. This is so funny as well, because this exact spot, you may remember from the last video, is where I shot the melanistic female. It's exactly the same zone on a different multiplayer server, which is crazy. And yeah, just look at this. They look so good. The albino grizzlies really do look cool. And oh my gosh, I'm just so happy. I've had so much luck this past couple of days with all of these trophies and this topped it off for me an albino female grizzly bear i'm so happy if i could get a male to go in a multi-mount that would be awesome but what really matters is the fact that it's an albino you cannot tell just by looking at the animal itself whether that is a male or a female once it's on the wall it really doesn't look any different so I'm just happy to finally have one of these guys to go in the lodge and just to shoot one again. It's really awesome. Such a cool looking animal. And yeah, I'm, I've had just an awesome time. An albino mountain goat again. Max weight, um, max score Gemsbok. Two max weight um, pronghorn and getting my best diamond pronghorn and best diamond seeker. It's been, and my best diamond Iberian wolf actually. It's been a really good couple of days. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching the clips. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.